everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two wide receivers will be looking to be number one targets on the field in today's game. It's Benjamin's Panthers going up against Cook's Patriots. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the defending Super Bowl champs introduced to this fired-up crowd here in Foxborough as the Patriots get set to do battle with the Carolina Panthers. Hello, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon God. As we get set here, Charles, we talk about wide receivers. You know, Larry mentioned it in the open, but that's a big spot to look at here in this one. I think you identified it perfectly because these guys have such an impact on the game nowadays because they throw the ball more than ever. And whether they're throwing it short, medium, or long, can they snatch it out of the air and create even extra yardage with run after catch? It's a rematch of the 2004 Super Bowl. The Pats and Panthers are underway. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Fresh off a redemptive week two, Tom Brady takes the field with the Patriots. Week one, the loss, all the talk about, oh, what's wrong with the Patriots? Well, Tom Brady comes out and throws three touchdown passes in the first quarter in week two. And was that the first time he had ever done that in his career? Yeah, how about that? Pretty amazing, right? Tom Brady still setting new records, new trends as he continues on. But were you really surprised at all? about the way the Patriots started against New Orleans in the last game? No. Coming off of that game against Kansas City, you just knew they would come out with a fury. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. We see these starters offensively for New England, and a lot of injuries, Charles, to Tom Brady's pass catchers. It's just seemingly one after the other recently. A rash of injuries, and with any other quarterback, I think you'd have a lot of worry. What is he going to do? But we've seen Tom Brady adjust. We've seen the Patriots adjust over the years, so they'll probably lean on the running backs a little bit more. James White can run it and catch it. Deion Lewis can do exactly the same thing. If they get Rex Burkhead back and it's not a major injury, another guy who's a combo guy. James Devlin, he's supposed to be a blocker. He caught a pass outside the numbers against New Orleans. And don't forget Dwayne Allen at tight end. So Tom Brady will shift his focus to the healthy guys until he gets everyone else back ready to go. And on top of that, didn't mention Mike Gillisley. Four touchdowns for him in two weeks. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Throwing is Brady on third down. Looking for Gronkowski, and it's intercepted. Picked by Darrell Worley, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. We've got a moment here while Carolina comes back out on offense to discuss how Greg Olson's injury is gonna impact them going forward because second quarter, week two, he broke his right foot. That's a big time blow to the Carolina offense because truth be told, the number one target for Cam Newton is Greg Olson. He is his security blanket, his safety net, his primary receiver all rolled into one. And Greg Olson did say that he thought he'd miss a lot of games after that injury. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. By the way, partner, that was a 30-year-old running back carrying the ball there. Yeah, turned 30 back in March, did Stewart. Yeah, I know that people say that you're not supposed to at the age of 30, but Jonathan Stewart, good style, good physicality. He'll continue to run it. Hoping to keep him healthy. Hasn't played a full 16 games since 2011. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. A play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. On second and ten, Newton. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Now Stewart on first down. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers even go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And just like that, it's third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys, and that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them, and now, instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. Newton to throw, and incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. I like the hood spa there, right? They decided to go ahead and fake it and try to pick up a first down. But how about how they executed defensively and smothered that one? I know back from my time frame, everyone has responsibilities, even rushing on a field goal attempt. You've got the tight end. You've got the wing, gag, wing back. You might have the guy out of the backfield. But they executed that well. Yeah. Really stuck to what they needed to do. It wasn't just 11 guys trying to block it. They were ready. They got it done. And not great starting field position here for the offense. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still first down. Gives this one to Lewis. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It'll be second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Wait, 20. Again, it's Lewis. Oh, and Lewis lost the football. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. The offense was in a tough spot. An opportunistic defense takes advantage, get the turnover, they get the touchdown too. I know this is going to sound strange, but oftentimes defenses call for this type of a play in this situation. Offense is pinned back near their own goal line. They tell them, be aggressive, go for the football, create a score. That's exactly what they did. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and he'll take over at the 25. All right, let's discuss Deion Lewis as he gets set to go again. And he's probably a little angry at himself. It was his fumble, obviously, a moment ago that led to the scoop and score touchdown that has him down early. And now we find out about the psychology aspect of being a coach. Because when you have a guy who's, that's just happened, some people want to take him out of the game immediately. Others say, you know something? Let's feed him the ball again next series and see if he's going to be able to atone for it. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That man has still got it. Thomas Davis can do it all. Drop into coverage, rush the quarterback, and, of course, make plenty of tackles. Closing in on 1,000 career tackles and consistent. Last year, 106 tackles. The year before, 105. College safety turned linebacker in the NFL. What a career. They try again with Lewis across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock. You control the ball. And that way, you often control the game. From the gun on third down, Brady. This is caught, it's Cooks. A gain of 19 in picking up the first.
So the offense has it first and 10. From midfield, here's Brady. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Looking for his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And that'll bring up second down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Now they'll run with Lewis. A swift move, but not a ton to show for it. Tackle just on the other side of midfield. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction defense. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Brady gonna try and throw on third down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll go for it. It's Brady. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of nine yards. And on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. We always talk about big-time players make big-time plays in big-time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. So here we go, first and 10 now. They go play action here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Philip Dorsett hauls it in. It's a 14-yard pickup, but it'll still be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. This is Lewis. 
And some big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground right around the 31. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Field here come the Panthers. Start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Just one yard to go here on second down. They go play action with Stewart. Now Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. third down now but less than a yard to go they'll try and run it here's Stewart and some room to run now and he's gonna get this down to the 35 yard line that good for 22 at a first down just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now a play fake here on first down. Going deep for Benjamin. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. 
Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's got some space here. And avoids the contact by sliding. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. comes play number six on this drive. Newton gives off to Stewart. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. All right, partner, despite my eating habits, I'm not big enough to play offensive tackle nor am I quick enough. But with the defensive ends nowadays and their speed, those guys have to be able to punch and dance, and it's a tough, tough job to contain them. And they're behind the sticks here a bit, now dealing with a second and 12. This is Stewart again. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Before they can get settled in here, time expires on oh, the first quarter of action. 7-0 is our score, and we'll return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. With my good friend Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon with you. It's the Panthers in possession of the football as we begin quarter number two. They're in the midst of a nice drive, but facing a third and long here. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Throwing on third down, Newton. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And Gano's kick is right through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
Deion Lewis getting set to go again here with his guys on offense. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. We'll see if he can look and do some soul searching now. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Star Latulale with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Look, Carolina had a number of issues last year, and that's why they slumped to 6-10 and 10 after a Super Bowl appearance. But pass rush wasn't a problem for them. They still got to the quarterback. 47 total sacks. That was just one behind Arizona, who led the league. Yeah, I think the biggest issue for them, young corners that gave up a lot of big plays. short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Call it a three yard game but they'll be forced to do a third and 15 coming up. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and 15. Working from the gun it's Brady. going to be too high out of bounds and incomplete I tell you Brandon this defense is playing with some confidence haven't allowed a point yet flying to the football I'm telling you it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap another nice job there to force an incompletion in his fifth year from La Tech here's the lefty Ryan Allen to punt it Christian McCaffrey deep for Carolina Pulled in at the 24. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. Heading back on the field is Jonathan Stewart. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. short gain up to about the 34 yard line two yards on the carry there it'll be second down not a big run on the first play of the drive but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play sometimes you're just trying to settle in get your guys a little bit of contact and get things moving here's Newton now on second down to Shepard complete over the middle and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything. And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Now a man who subbed in for Andy Lee down the stretch last year, Michael Pilardi, to kick it away. 
Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Patriots coming back out on offense and an interesting nugget. The Patriots have lost four openers since 2001 like they did this year against Kansas City. But the previous three times they did it, they went on to win the Super Bowl. Think that can happen again? That's not a nugget, man. That's a gold nugget. <laughs> Where did you get that one? That's pretty strong yeah, right there. A hat tip to Ed Brady, our statistician. Well, how about that? Now think about how the pendulum swings in the NFL. Preseason, Patriots prohibited favorites to win another Super Bowl with their offseason and draft, correct? Mm -hmm. Then they lose the opener to Kansas City. Oh, boy, the Patriots trouble in paradise. They blow away the Saints. And with that little stat you gave us, they're going right back to the Super Bowl, aren't they? Looking sideline incomplete. The wideout Chris Hogan, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Throwing again, Brady. And that's complete to Cooks. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he's gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. Brady now on first down. Wide open, Gronkowski. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. He was a cover guy for Madden in 2016, but I don't think Gronk saw that as being his highlight for the year. What did he have, 25 catches yeah, for 25. the season? Only eight games went down for good right before Thanksgiving. You know he wants to be back with a vengeance in 2017. First down. And to the right side here, it's Allen. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Martellus Bennett moves on to Green Bay, so what do the Patriots do? They go get Dwayne Allen from Indianapolis. Yeah, for a fourth-round draft pick, and last year he had 35 catches, six touchdowns as a Colt. And also the Patriots got Brandon Cooks, Coney Ealy, and Allen all for draft picks. the 15 down to the 14 yard line a good pick up there eight yards on the first down completion seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends especially the ones running around the nfl nowadays makes me glad i didn't make it in that league i would have had a really difficult time but now you get to sit up here with me yeah and that's fun isn't it and what a really nice game right there on first down for them brings up a nice second down for them now brady again Touchdown, Chris Hogan, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are back within a score. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height.
Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Now Newton on first down. He's going to go deep for Funches. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Chung. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Patriots coming out now. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. So after the INT, it's Brady. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Shaq Thompson not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In yeah, a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Throwing on second down. It's caught out right Amendola. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 16. My 20! My 20! Shotgun now for Brady. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. On 
first and ten. Here's Brady. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. His tight end, Dwayne Allen, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Ten yards still left on second down. yard the official pickup there so it's going to set up third and nine when we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense he quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get them into the right defense they definitely were on that play how about that finish holding that to a minimal game Amendola, and he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. plays 12 yards that time and a first down last year Hogan tied for the NFL lead at 17.9 yards per catch didn't quite get that many there but still a nice hookup and I don't want to overplay as a cross background but it does bear some mentioning here those rushes that they make towards the goal I think that equates into some of his pass patterns too way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. And that'll set them back five. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. here back at the 23 yard line it's a loss of two now third down Charles Johnson stock in trade is coming off the edge and getting to the quarterback but he knows how to make some of those subtle moves inside to help in the run game and he did it right there he's an athlete back in high school played football basketball track so he's a mobile guy mobile guy made a nice play against the run New England on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third down and 12. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Charles Johnson in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that'll lead to a fourth down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game.
So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back to Foxborough after this. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again here, Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Caught on the left side by Benjamin. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. To throw on second down is Newton. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Panthers on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. From the gun, here's Newton. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Pats will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Second down now after the incompletion. To 
to throw again. Brady. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. New England on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and seven. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is White on the screen. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap, it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. The offense behind the chains after the infraction. It's now third down and 14. Now a carry for White. And an alley to run. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. The Panthers are going to take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Here's Ryan Allen now, standing just outside his own goal line. <laughs> so a we'll change of possession here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now a first down throw for Newton. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And it's second down. And on second and 10 now. again. Newton, his throw incomplete. The intended target that time was Jonathan Stewart, and now it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. A shotgun snap for Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. 
It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And tough starting field position here. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Partner, I think that play echoed a short yardage run. I know they're backed against their own goal line, but when they stack the defensive line like that, if you find any type of a crease, you're up to the third level before you know it. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to the EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's take a look back at the first half. So we've got a tie game at half, and you can bet both coaches are in that locker room making adjustments and telling their guys to just keep playing hard like they did in the first half. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Midway through the second quarter, Brady's going to complete the pass, and 14 yards later, he's going in for the score. Cutting the deficit to three. Now following the pick, Thompson's able to zero in on the QB here. This ends up as a loss of nine. Now to late in the second, Hightower's going to take down the QB here. This will go as a loss of ten. So that's it for us. We'll go back now to Foxborough for the start of the second half. Okay, thank you, Larry. A low-scoring affair all even as we ready for this second half. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fozzie Whitaker now on the return. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Yeah. 
Newton on first down. And it's incomplete. It's a dangerous pass. That's what it was. And it brings up second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. To throw again. Newton. Completes it to Benjamin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really good pickup of 28 yards. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. And now a first down following that long gain. Newton turns and hands to Stewart. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. The Panthers on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and 11. Out of the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. Out of bounds and close. The question, was it a touchback? No. They'll say it crossed out at the two-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. They'll start off with a give to Lewis. And he'll get this up past the five to the seven yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And that run, that changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two yard line. They just wanted enough space to punt the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. This is Lewis, and he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Hey, hey, hey. 
New England on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. Here it's third and two. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to get the first down, it looks like, as he's up to the 12. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They go play action here on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Brandon Cooks, 88 yards. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Charles aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Extra point try for Goskowski. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Carolina getting set to take the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. Well, other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Hey, 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 hey. 
Here's McCaffrey. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. the start. They yeah, just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. The throw is Newton. It's caught. Shepard. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, here's Newton. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And we move to spotlighting Brandon Cooks. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Brady now on first down. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give him a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is what every back in the league is supposed to do, exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Four down, four down. 
Now a handoff looking right. Oh, he shifts past him. Deion Lewis, the 40. He's at the 30. 10. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there for New England. 67 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and pound it in with Burkhead. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Second and goal. Defense digging in again here. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This offense so far on third down, they're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. They're looking at a third and goal here. Looking from the gun, it's Brady. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Brandon Cooks with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Patriots add six to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Goskowski for the point after. And the lead is up to 14. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And some room to work. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Gano for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24 17. So he takes it from two yards deep all the way down the field into the other end zone. 
Add it all up, 102-yard return on the kickoff. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken about seven yards deep. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. And now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. Brady now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Ah, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, he find big 87. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he loses the football a second time. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So they almost turn it over there. Scary moment. Second down here. Play action. Now it's Brady. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. To throw on third down. Brady, he's letting it fly for Cooks. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for the Pats on third. 43 yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mario Addison in there to sack him for a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again.
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. Able to pick up a healthy chunk of yards, seven-yard gain, but a tough third and nine upcoming. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And here comes play number six on this drive. On third down. That's White, and a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. And a loss of three to bring up four. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed, and that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make him score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. Koskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And the Panthers coming out now. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to let this one go deep. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Panthers are able to get this back within a touchdown. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Gano now to add the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. 
One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And now running right through it. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. Brady to throw on second down. And his throw here is incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And it's third and five. So third and medium here, third and five. From the gun, it's Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in. But it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was. All the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> Shoves him aside. Oh, and now he bowls him over. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. Second down following the incompletion. Throwing again, Newton. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there. And it's third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 10. From the gun, Newton. And he 
gets it to Funch is complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback who has to slide and find open space to throw. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Fair to say the secondary play, whichever side you're on, hasn't really been a glowing exhibition so far. But a nice job there to prevent a long completion. I agree with you, but at some point, someone had to make a play and try and stop this exhibition of almost speed racing that we've been watching, huh? Yeah, it has been quarterback and receiver dominated. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Draw play as Newton gives to McCaffrey. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through it. The Panthers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 11. Operating from the gun, Newton. And that is incomplete. Here's Michael Pilardi now. He's been terrific so far. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. As you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. The point after try for Goskowski. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field.
on first and 10, Newton. And it's hauled in by Ed Dixon. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. down it's Newton throwing over the middle but it's incomplete Second down, McCaffrey. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. From the gun, Newton. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A little one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Foster, offense. So that one will be accepted. Point, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack.
Here's Newton now on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. False start will back them up five. False start offense. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. From the gun, Newton. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Lawrence Guy able to run him down for a 15-yard loss, and it'll be fourth down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Going for the deep ball. And no, it's incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. And the Patriots defense is going to take over on down. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction. Three five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Stop him right on the midfield stripe. It's a gain of three, and it sets him up with second and just two yards to go. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Brady now to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, the obvious goal is to try and score a touchdown, but at the least, adding to a pretty big yardage total for his intended receiver there, huh? Yeah, well, when you've got a guy over 150 yards, <laughs> keep chucking it deep to him, I guess. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can get it to him short, and he can make plays that way, but I like what you just said. Throw it to him deep and get it in a big chunk. But incomplete on that try. Here's Brady. Open man, it's Allen. 
And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Brady to his new tight end, Allen, for a Patriot first. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They'll run it now out of the gun. Nice move by Lewis. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Brandon, this is clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Now he'll throw with Brady. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Charles Johnson in there to take him down and to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Stopped up at about the 47-yard line. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. 
Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. Now Newton. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. It's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Newton to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Some boos coming down right now from this home crowd after that call. Yeah, and that was because of the pass interference call, but for a second there, I thought maybe they'd gotten a look at my uh, appearance as Othello in the high school play. <laughs> you, you were Othello? Not a good one, let me tell you. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game, and boy, they've really played well attacking the football. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Now it's Newton. Funches with a catch over the middle. And before they can run this third down play, we're going to get a timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Again, Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. To the air again, Newton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, he almost. 
almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. Not only did they drop it looked like an interception in the end zone, it blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Full start offense. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Throwing again is Newton. He's going to let it fly. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to get it back to a one-score game. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. All right, let's discuss Deion Lewis as he gets set to go again. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync because early in the game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard you're a defensive guy but it was a fun little track meet wasn't it it was and you know the people really enjoyed this game they're the ones that like going to batting practice at the major league baseball <laughs> parks right seeing the 14 to 11 game that sort of deal that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.